Hi guys, thanks for joining me. I just thought I'd do a quick little video here. I'm working on a older sort of, it was a pine box and I thought it might look really good in a kitchen to store cookbooks and things in it. So just on a sort of like on the kitchen bench. What I'm gonna do is use the redesign with Prima decoupage papers. So this one here is, I think it's called Warm Desserts. And they come in two pieces like this. And then you match them up like you do with the transfers as well. So they come in two pieces and they sort of, some of them will make a picture, some will just be designs. And they're a little bit different to um, normal decoupage paper because they are sort of like a, like an interfacing or, um, yeah, I guess a little bit like a thin chucks cloth or something, but sort of like an interfacing. So they're not as fragile as your normal decoupage papers and um, which makes them so easy to work with. And they're in a range of absolutely beautiful colors. I love them. So um, what I'm gonna be applying it with is the uh, Dixie Bell clear coat satin. So you can use Gator Hide, you can use any of the Dixie Bell clear coats to apply these and um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how you do that. This has been painted in Dixie Bell fluff. You sort of want to be aware that the colour that's underneath is going to come through a little bit so where it's nice and pale there that white's going to come through. If I was to put it on something really dark like this box you can see that that sort of colour comes through so you want to be mindful of what your, uh, depending on what the pattern is as to what the colour that you use underneath as your base is. So um, I want it to look nice and fresh and I'm going to put it on the two sides here and on the front. So let's get started. Now it is in two parts, like I said, it's sort of like a picture of um, some cupcakes on a plate, so very kitcheny, very baking sort of orientated. Uh, I hope you could sort of see that. And um, so yeah, we're going to apply that. So first of all, you sort of lay out where you want it to go. Now, I'm going to put it so that this cupcake here is on and I'm going to need two pieces because it's obviously, um, it's obviously doesn't fit with the one. There's a gap here. Let's move this back a bit. There's a gap, so I need to use two pieces. So I want to work out where it's going to match up. And also keeping in mind what I've got to use to make, uh, to cover the rest of it on the other two sides. So I think we're going to go for about here. Bring it down a bit. And um, match it up. Let's have a look. So we've got the cake, at least the cake on that side. So at the moment I'm just sort of lining up my lining it up so that I know where to put my bottom piece to start with. And I reckon about about there is pretty good. Okay, so that's where I'm going to line it up. I'm just going to take some, just have a bit of an idea where that is now, and I'm going to use my I'm using the satin because I sort of like the finish on it and I'm going to just apply some to the to the surface here. I'm going to come back and apply this. And the thing that's good about these two is you can actually move it a little bit with um, you know, when you're using your normal decoupage papers, once they're down, if you start moving them, they tear really, really easily. So these are fantastic. So I'm gonna place that there, sort of put, press it down, and now I'm gonna take my brush and really just sort of get all that um, top coat saturated with it. So it's sort of like a, a weave, it's got a, bit of a weave, sort of like a fabric, so you want to make sure that that's going all the way through. I'm 
I'm just going to work that in, make sure it's going all the way in, make sure you do the edges really, really well. Work it right into the weave and into the fabric so it's soaking right through. And again on this side, there's a little ridge there. I don't know if you can see that, there's a little ridge. So I want to make sure that I'm getting right onto that and pushing it down. Okay, when it's dry, we're going to come back and um, trim those off and we'll show you how to do that. But first we're going to put the second piece on. So now I'm going to match up the design there onto this piece here. So exactly the same way. Just put a coat of the sealer down first. Make sure you really give it a nice coating around the edges. Take your piece of fabric and we're just going to line up the picture there. And once you're happy with it, you can need a little bit more. Once you're happy with it, then you're just going to push it on. There you go. So that's that's lined up perfectly. It's a really seamless line. You can't even see it now. And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to go along and really saturate this in. Push it down with my brush. Make sure I get those joins really well done right along the edges. You can come back and give it a second coat or a third coat if you need to after. But for now, we really want to get it on there so it sticks well. Right up here onto the edge. You can run your finger down the edge to make sure that it's sort of stuck down. Okay, so you can leave that for a minute. Come back when it's dry and we will trim that off. See you in a minute. Okay, so this has been left to dry now overnight. And as you can see, it's, I don't want to pull it because you know, it will peel off if you actually pull it at the moment, um, but it's, it's stuck on. And what we're going to do now is trim it up so that um, we've got nice clean edges. So I've got a sanding block with a fine sand, fairly fine sandpaper on it. And I'm just gonna rub over the corners, the edges, and wear away the edge there. So if you do it that way, or it sort of works faster if you do it this way. You don't want to do, you don't want anything too rough, but if you do it too fine also, it will take you ages. I think this, um, what grid is this? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what grid this one is. 120 by the looks. And that works fairly well. Working a downward motion. You don't want to tear it because it could tear up into your um, the piece that you want to that you've already stuck down. It is quite strong. So I'm going to cut this part off here.
and there's that edge done. So I'll work onto this one. So there we've got the side done and I'm really liking the look of it so far. Now if you find that on the edges you'll see here there's a couple of little points that are lifting. Looks alright everywhere else. Oh, just on this side too here. Just slightly lifting. Don't panic because we're going to, when I've done all the sides, I'm going to come back and put a final top coat over the whole thing when it's dry. So. Um, it'll really sort of seal that off and we will glue those pieces down in that last stage. So I'm just going to go ahead now and finish the rest of it and um, we'll see the end product. done all three sides we're going to go back and give a final coat um, of the Dixabelle clear coat satin and we're going to fix up any little edges that you can see here that might just be lifting so anywhere that um, you know we haven't glued down properly we're going to do that now and give now that it's dry we're going to give it a, a coat over the top again. So I've mixed this up and let's get started. So just place a bit under the corner and then again give your piece a good coating of the clear coat. Now remember you can do this with gator hide as well. I'm going both directions again to really work it into the fabric and make sure that it's all really well coated. There you go, we're done. Now just to let it dry and see the final product. See you soon.